Good morning. I'm Stephen Thompson. I'm the head teacher of Croxley Dane School, and it's a real pleasure to welcome you to our school today. The majority of this presentation will be led by myself. However, as you can see, you'll also be hearing from some of our students. I hope that many of you will be familiar with the school, but if you're sitting here this morning under the impression that Croxley Dane School only started in September 2017, then please forgive me for spending some time to summarise our history to date. The story begins eight years ago in 2013. That was when Hertfordshire County Council approached St Clement Danes as a school rated as outstanding by Ofsted to consider opening a new school to address the local need for additional secondary school places in South West Hearts. As for myself, by 2014 I'd been on the senior leadership team of St Clement Danes for 12 years and did not hesitate to join the head teacher of St Clement Danes at that time, Dr Josephine Valentine, to develop the detailed application to open a new school. That submission was made in October 2014 and approved by the Department for Education in March 2015. From that point onwards, as Deputy Head Teacher of St Clement Danes, I assumed the position of Project Manager for the school in its pre-opening phase. In January 2017, I was appointed as Head Teacher of Croxley Danes School and in September 2020, Dr Valentine was appointed Chief Executive Officer of the Danes Educational Trust, which is now composed of nine schools. So in essence, as far as I'm concerned, Croxley Dane School is already at least eight years old, even if we only accepted our first cohort of students five years ago. One of the strengths of the Danes Educational Trust is a strong ethos. Our school's core values of excellence, respect and trust pervade our school and underpin our behaviours. Our students are happy, engaged and aspirational. We expect them to have an excellent attitude to learning, to contribute to a respectful culture which embraces diversity and celebrates the achievements of all students and in so doing develop a community which is strengthened by an implicit trust in one another. We already know that we have an impressive cohort of year 7 to 12 students and we are confident they will act as role models to your children next year. If you're wondering whether our aspirations for our student body are translating into reality then in previous years the best I could do was to share information from our student and parent surveys. However, since last year the quality of our provision has been externally validated in two ways. Firstly, on the 25th and 26th of January of this year we were inspected by Ofsted, only three weeks after school inspections recommenced following the Covid suspension. I'm delighted to inform you that under an inspection framework that is clearly downgrading many previously outstanding schools to good, we were judged to be good in every category. Here are the opening three paragraphs of our inspection report. I'll let you read them for yourself, but you can see some important messages such as, the school is warm and welcoming. Pupils get on well with one another and look out for their friends. Negative experiences are not tolerated by anyone and are dealt with effectively. Staff have high expectations and the school is a safe and calm environment. Here are two further extended quotes from our inspection report, which I feel are particularly accurate. They demonstrate that the inspectors identified that students access a good quality education and experience and that leaders want the school to be the best it can and have a clear vision on how to improve the school further. The second independent validation of our provision is the first set of GCSE results which our inaugural cohort of students were awarded this summer. This slide displays some key attainment measures. If you're unfamiliar with the relatively new GCSE grading system, 9 is the highest grade and 1 the lowest. Grade 4 is a standard pass and grade 5 is a strong pass. Grade 5 is approximately two-thirds of a grade higher than the old grade C. The most recent national data set for GCSE exams is 2019. This is because students did not sit GCSE exams in 2020 or 2021 due to the COVID pandemic. The Hertfordshire data displayed is for 2018 because we are not in possession of a full data set for 2019. You can see that students in Hertfordshire outperform students nationally in all the key performance measures. So how did our students perform? Well, before I share the results, I want to remind you that unlike many schools locally, we do not offer any Year 7 places based on academic ability. Of course, those schools that do select a portion of their students based on academic ability have a clear head start in surpassing national and Hertfordshire performance measures. 
Here are the attainment measures for Croxley Dane students in 2022. A comprehensive intake with no students admitted based on high academic ability. I'm delighted to share with you that our students have performed really well. We've exceeded all the national and Hertfordshire key attainment measures. The students' performance at grade four to nine was excellent and their performance in grades five to nine in English was exceptional. In addition to the data displayed, I can also inform you that 20% of our year 11 cohort averaged a grade seven or higher, with grade seven being the same standard as the old A grade. There were many superb individual performances and one student who is speaking today and is now enrolled in our inaugural sixth form was awarded grade nine in every subject, an achievement that puts him in the top 0.25% of students nationally. Whilst we do not yet have validated progress measures, early indications are that overall, on average, our year 11 cohort have performed approximately half a grade better in each GCSE compared to similar students nationally. I hope you agree that these results represent a clear validation of our provision and that we have delivered on our promise to that inaugural cohort who themselves have worked incredibly hard to deservedly receive these great GCSE results. Moving on. The Croxley Danes curriculum has been designed to develop confidence, independence, a sense of belonging to the community and the celebration of learning and achievement. The current curriculum for the Year 7 Croxley Danes students is identical to the tried and tested curriculum of the Year 7 students at St Clement Danes. They follow a two-week timetable of 51-hour lessons and the fortnightly time allocated to each subject is displayed on this slide. You'll notice there's an emphasis on the core subjects of English and Maths. The staff will focus on rapidly narrowing the gaps in literacy and numeracy skills at secondary transfer to ensure that all can make rapid progress in every subject. That work is then supplemented through our reading buddy and numeracy buddy programmes in which year seven students work with older students to develop their confidence and skills in English and maths. The SENCO also ensures that barriers to learning are identified and communicated to staff to support their quality first teaching. Similarly, and just as importantly, the aspirations of more able students will be identified and their development will be supported and challenged by their teachers. As these images demonstrate, we can certainly promise you fantastic facilities, probably some of the best of any school in the area, given that the development cost for this site exceeded 30 million pounds. We don't take these facilities for granted and are ensuring they are well maintained, but also continue to be developed. In October two years ago, we installed an AstroTurf and floodlights, which I hope you will see today. And in April 2021, we completed the finishing touches to our tennis courts, which I would argue are the best quality tennis courts of any state school in the country. If that is not enough, we also aim to install floodlights on our netball courts over the next 12 months. However, facilities alone do not make a school. Possibly as a year six pupil, you are wondering what the teachers are like whether you'll make friends, whether you'll be happy at Croxley Danes, those are all good questions. After all, you and your parents are making an important decision on where you'll spend a quarter of your day for five days a week, 39 weeks a year. And now I want to talk directly to any Year 6 students in the audience. I'm guessing that you feel that so far my speech hasn't been aimed at you and I've been talking to your parents. Well, to be fair, I probably have because they want you to be successful at secondary school. However, Whilst I agree with them and would endorse that message, I want you to know that there is more to picking the correct secondary school. So year six, I'm talking to you now. I might be your potential head teacher, but what you need to know is that whilst it is really important that you work hard in class, I also want you to experience so much more. I used to coach football teams at St Clement Danes. I've played tennis competitively for nearly 45 years. I'm an avid sports fan, and I'm keen to see the students participate and be successful in inter-school sports. I also have a daughter in secondary school who has experienced the mixed feelings of excitement and worry about the move from primary to secondary school. Would there be enough sport? Would there be opportunities to study musical instruments? Would she make friends and be happy? In other words, I know how you feel right now about moving on to secondary school and I just want to point out one of the opportunities that is unique to joining this school you'll be able to help me and my senior leadership team shape the school, its traditions and ethos. You have a great opportunity because as one of the year groups joining in the formative years of the school, the success of the school is in your hands just as much as mine. 
If you agree, like me, that you want an outstanding school with a strong sense of community, then there's nothing to hold us back because I will ensure the school is well-led, well-resourced and well-staffed. And myself and my leadership team and staff will ensure the un that underpinning everything we do, there'll be the highest standards of behaviour. Before concluding, I want to give you a brief outline of the student experience outside of lessons since 2017. As you'll be able to read for yourself if you visit our website, the students have benefited from a huge variety of extracurricular experiences and school events. There have been trips to Barcelona, Ypres, Bletchley Park, Croxley Moor, and Eastern Temple, the Globe Theatre, Kew Gardens, the Big Bang Fair, an activities holiday in Devon, outdoor activities days at Longridge and Willan Lake, and a reward trip for students at Thorpe Park. Next year, we're running our first ski trip to Europe. Students annually complete the Bronze Duke of Edinburgh Award, and now we've introduced the Silver Award, and this year the Gold Award. Student teams have competed successfully against other schools in football, netball, rugby, athletics, rounders, tennis, and multi-sports competitions. And there have been remembrance services, charities events raising almost £10,000, a creative arts evening, music concerts, a school musical, student-led faith-based assemblies, public speaking and spelling bee competitions, and a gym and dance performance, to name but a few of the other events. In my opinion, whether you're a parent or a potential student, it is the student experience that you really want to hear about. So I'm now going to invite three of our students, Yusuf, Freya and Katie, to give you an insight into their experience of attending Croxley Dane School. And after they've spoken, I will explain the admissions process. Good morning everyone. My name is Yusuf and I'm a Year 11 student and prefect here at Croxley Danes. I have joined this school since its inaugural day in 2017. Over the past four years we've experienced a lot of change. From the start of our journey at St. Clement Danes to the move to our temporary site on Tulpis Lane to here, our amazing school on Baldwin's Lane. In all that time, the school has provided us with a plethora of opportunities which engaged our learning and excited us for the later years. Let's start at the beginning, Year 7 at St. Clement Danes. Throughout the year, we were given the opportunity to participate in a multitude of competitions, from maths to spelling, from drama to public speaking, you name it. In doing so, these events have prepared us for when we go out into the real world and are faced with the competitions of life. These opportunities have made me become a more resilient person and have given me the chance to discover new interests that I never knew I enjoyed. After our time at St. Clement Danes, we shifted to Tulpis Lane, our second school site. Even though our playground was half of a car park, these two years still allowed us to develop a fantastic school identity. At the end of the day, a school is about its students, and this became transparent through the student-led lessons and assemblies. I was one of the four students to be given the amazing opportunity to lead the first ever student-led lesson at our school, and it was an experience which allowed me to share my passion with my classmates. I feel that this chance has allowed me to learn and engage in my studies in a different, more exciting way, and this is something which you may not find in many other schools. Two years later, and here we are, here. Croxy Danes has experienced a lot of change, and the teachers have consistently helped us with this change throughout the years. We have a well-being group that actively tries to make a positive difference to every student at our school. So if anyone has a problem, there is always a member of staff to go talk to or a safe place to be in. At our age, we appreciate facilities like these because our lives are further evolving. And most of the time, having someone to talk to and to support you goes a long way. The transition into our GCSEs was smooth, stress-free and quite enjoyable because of the supportive and passionate teachers at our school. And I'm sure that your move from primary school to secondary school will be as seamless and exciting, if not more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Freya and I'm in year 10. I joined Croxy Danes in 2018, a little later than the rest of my form in year seven. So changing schools was so daunting and I was very anxious as to whether I would fit in or even be happy here. However, I was welcomed with open arms and found friends that are still supporting me here today. Even then, the teachers would make sure my well-being came first and I was enjoying the time at Croxy Danes. I remember on my first day waiting in reception and by pure coincidence the first student I saw was a girl in my form who mistook me for the year above her and we still joke about this today. Everyone was so accepting and it made the transition a lot smoother. 
I'm so glad that I was accepted to the school, as I know it will give me opportunities that will make a huge difference to my future. Croxy Danes has so much to offer and it will be fantastic to see more students have the same experience I have had. It's easy to forget sometimes that our building facilities are brand new. Even though they've had 800 or so students using it for over a year now, it still manages to look like it was open yesterday. As you will have seen, or will see, the school's grounds and the incredible learning environments built for the students to succeed in have amazed us all. However, even when we're in an office block in Tulpits Lane, our fantastic teachers managed to create an environment that we found engaging and really helped to improve my learning. Along with all the great memories, we know the most important thing is the education we receive here. And I'm sure that I speak for my teachers and peers when I say that I really enjoy my lessons and I think that highlights how ambitious and eager the teachers and staff are and how their love for learning really impacts the teaching environment. This also reflects on our attitude to learning, how we interact in lessons, how we take pride in ourselves and how we encourage others' participation. I love my extracurricular clubs and I highly recommend them as they lead to amazing opportunities. For example, I've been on multiple day trips out to learn about the different humanities subjects, traveling to London to take part in a workshop and public speaking debates, even a theater production of Frankenstein, which we are now studying in year 10, and many, many inter-school sports related competitions. My parents always tell me that they never enjoyed their time at school. And I never understood why, as I love mine, and I know that if I wake up in the morning on the wrong side of the bed, I will walk through the doors and someone will be there waiting to put the smile back on my face. Good morning. If you have already been in to see the music department, then you may recognize me. My name is Katie, one of the music prefects, and I'm lucky enough to have been asked to present a speech about our promised school on its very first open day. Although I am in year 11, I can still remember sitting on the floor of the Barbarolli Hall, our head teacher telling us a dream of a brand new building. In many ways, it feels like a miracle that we actually got here. From the temporary accommodation at Tulpits Lane, all the way through to the ongoing pandemic, our teachers have managed to somehow pull us through. So this is where I'll start, with our very own teachers, many of which have been here since day one, just like us. I must admit that I found it quite surprising how friendly the staff are. Walking through the corridors, even new staff who I had never even met said good morning. It was a lovely yet unexpected feeling. The staff are incredibly enthusiastic about their subjects. In turn, this makes lesson content a lot more engaging for us students. It's incredible to see someone be so proud to pass on the knowledge of the subject that they enjoy, as it's inspiring in a way. And this enthusiasm also means that teachers are willing to sacrifice their own free time in order to hold extracurricular activities for us students. Being a music student, I'm involved in three of the clubs that my department offers, choir, crocs band and jazz band. Despite being so music orientated, I'm also lucky enough to be a part of the geography department's environmental group, where past achievements include reducing the single waste plastic at our school and building a bug hotel to harbour insects and protect them against any stray footballs. This club gives me the opportunity to learn about what I can do as an individual, as well as what we can do as a, as a school to combat this climate crisis. Now, these clubs that I have listed are all personal to me. However, there are clubs within every subject that the school provides. An MFL club, where you can learn about different cultures. A history club, where subjects outside of the curriculum are covered. And time prevents me from going into detail about the countless number of the clubs that the PE department offers but if you have visited the sports hall, then you will have surely seen them for yourselves. Although we are so new, our school has worked tirelessly to give us the best opportunities to extend our reach and blossom outwards into areas that are not taught in classes. Since my time is running out, I will just say that we will be looking forward to seeing you next year, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. With regard to school admissions, you should have a copy of the admission arrangements for secondary transfer for 2023 as an insert in your school prospectus. If you do not, then please alert a member of staff before you leave this morning and we will provide you with a copy. The admission arrangements can also be accessed via the school website. 
Croxley Dane School is a co-educational all ability academy. The admissions committee of Croxley Dane School, which includes the head teacher, is responsible for all admissions to the school and for secondary transfer to Croxley Dane School. The school will be participating in the coordinated secondary transfer admission arrangements administered by Hertfordshire County Council. The published admission number for Year 7 is 180 students. The school will accordingly admit this number of students in 2023 if there are sufficient applications. Those 180 students will be placed in six forms of entry, by which we mean there will be six teaching groups of 30 students each. Applications for secondary transfer for September 2023 need to be submitted by the 31st of October 2022. Where there are more applications than the PAN, the admissions committee of Croxley Dane School will apply the oversubscription criteria. Last year, the school received 1,032 applications for the 180 places available. When the school is oversubscribed, after the admission of students with an educational health and care plan naming the school, priority for admission will be given to those children who meet the criteria set out below in priority order. Firstly, children looked after and children who were previously looked after but immediately after being looked after became subject to adoption, a child arrangement order or special guardianship order. This also includes those who appear to the admissions authority to have been in state care abroad. Secondly, children whose brother or sister is in attendance at the school at the time of application or whose brother or sister qualifies for a place in the same round of applications under criterion four or through an educational health and care plan. Third, children of staff who are permanently employed to work at Croxley Dane School. Fourth, up to 10% of places will be for students demonstrating musical aptitude as determined by test during the autumn term 2022. And then fifth, distance places will be allocated on the basis of proximity to the school. The school uses Hertfordshire County Council's straight line measurement system. Distances are measured using a computerised mapping system to two decimal places. The measurement is taken from the address-based premium address point of the applicant's house to the address point of Croxley Dane School in Baldwin's Lane, Croxley Green. If the school becomes oversubscribed within any of criteria 2, 3 and 5, proximity to the school will first be applied with those living closest to the school having priority for admission. Random allocation will be then used as a tiebreaker to decide who has the highest priority for admission. However, if children of multiple births twins or triplets, are tied for the final place, those siblings will be admitted over the published admission number. To avoid any confusion, and this is really important, we wish to stress very clearly that unlike a number of other local schools, no places at Croxley Danes will be awarded through an academic test. All applicants are required to complete the common application form provided by the County Council or authority in which they re reside and must rank Croxley Dane School as one of their preferences if they wish the application to be considered by the school. The secondary application form must be submitted to the County Council or authority. Applicants un applying under Criterion 3, Children of Staff, or Criterion 4, Musical Aptitude, are also required to complete a Croxley Dane School application form, also known as a supplementary information form, in order for the Admissions Committee of Croxley Dane School to apply the admission rules to their application. The Croxley Danes application form is provided as an insert in your prospectus. It can also be accessed on the Croxley Danes School website or by collecting a copy from the school reception. A completed copy should be handed or posted to Croxley Danes School for the attention of the admissions officer. The application forms must be completed and returned by the closing date for admissions, which is the 31st of October 2022, in order for the application to be considered on time. Offers will be communicated to parents on National Offer Day, which is the 1st of March, 2023. For those of you who receive an offer of a place at Croxley Dane School for September 2023, I want to finish by running through the arrangements that we will put in place to support students transition smoothly from primary school to secondary school. Firstly, every child awarded a place will receive a visit by either the deputy head teacher or the head of year seven to their primary school. During that visit, they will meet with you and get to know the children, as well as meeting the staff at the primary school to collect the key information which will help Croxley Danes thoroughly prepare for each student's arrival. The main event prior to the students joining the school in September 2023 
will be the secondary transfer day that we will hold on Thursday the 13th of July 2023. On that day, students will meet the key members of staff who will be working at the school next year, such as myself, the deputy head teacher, the head of year seven, their form tutors and other teaching staff. Between now and National Offer Day on the 1st of March 2023, there are a number of ways in which you can find out more about the school and keep in touch. Firstly, you can find a wealth of information about the school on our website, where you can find updates about the site and news stories about student activities, successes and achievements. Whether or not you use social media, a visit to our Twitter account online is a must to get a real flavour of what really goes on day to day at the school. Our faculties tweet regularly and our main feed retweets the highlights. There are a number of further opportunities to meet us and see the school in action after this morning. In October, we will hold several open mornings here on site. This will give Year 6 parents an opportunity to see our students at work and an online sign-up form for those mornings will be available on our website from next week. Finally, if having used these opportunities to find out more, you still have questions, you can contact us at one of these two email addresses and we will do our best to answer your questions promptly. We very much hope that you will make application for your son or daughter to join our school and they will be part of the next cohort of students who will join our community at Baldwin's Lane and enjoy its fantastic facilities. After we finish, we will be available on the netball courts outside to answer a limited number of questions before we commence the next presentation. However, you've been provided with a list of frequently asked questions and I would encourage you to study those first. There are also some staff available in our library near the main entrance to the school. Mrs White, our acting Senko, who can discuss special needs provision, and Mrs Marsh, our admissions officer, can discuss admissions. And also we have a number of governors present today, including our chair of governors, Judith Thorne. However, my advice would be to take the tour and speak to our students. They are our best ambassadors. To finish, I just want to say that we were humbled that at last year that over a thousand families applied to send their children to us with over 230 selecting us as their first choice school. Many decided to turn down places at established high quality schools in favour of the vision we are delivering and the community we are building. They took us on trust and that trust is now paying off. Of course this year, yes, you will still have to have a good deal of trust in us, but you can now feel the ethos and excitement. You can hear from our students, you can see the school we've delivered and its results. It is a really important decision you will make over the next few weeks. Yes, you will be swayed by what you hear and see at mornings or evening events such as this. Yes, you will decide who to trust. You may choose to methodically weigh up the pros and cons of each school. However, ultimately, you know your child the best and may already have a gut feeling about where they will be happiest, where they will thrive, where they will have the best chance of becoming the adult they want to become. I very much hope that will be at Croxley Dane School and that your son or daughter will be part of our next cohort of Year 7 students to join the school. We wish you an enjoyable morning. Thank you for listening.